friends welcome back to another video of the app builder certification series uh, thanks for watching this video and please do subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell icon for new notification which encourages me to make more videos on the salesforce okay now starting with the first question which three standard component types are available in the lightning app builder choose three answer uh, i think it's a filter list and b recent items and report details and plain text i don't think it's available and e rich text yes this recent item and rich text you can see in the left hand side panel when you open the app builder and even the filter list you know you can you select anything you can filter on that object so b and c sorry c and d are not available so the correct answer is sorry it went back so correct answer is a b e that's right okay moving on the training team at the universal container uses a custom training object to track the customer training an app builder needs to create a relationship between the training object and the related student record a private sharing model is in place for both student and the training which two statements are to creating the student lookup field on the training object so here it states clearly that student lookup field on training object so based on this the first option on training record is student lookup field can be made optional yes lookup field can be made optional and the cross object field updates between the training and student record are not supported yes it's true and on training record users can delete students if they have access no in lookup you cannot delete it on student record users can set up roll up summary fields on training records no in lookup you cannot do it this either so the correct answer is a and b yes that's right answer universal container wants to optimize the routes for its traveling service professional personal what is the recommended solution to meet the requirement i think this is a little you know optimizing the routes for traveling service professional i don't think that you can do it in salesforce with the real time you know map coordinates and all so the configuring routing option the custom object i don't think that's possible configuring territory hierarchy rule hierarchy and rules of routes based on territory no that's just a territory management it's static and uh, use of an app exchange partner it's possible and use geolocation fields with distant and geolocation yes geolocation you can have it but you cannot optimize routes with that it's you know just the distance and geolocation where that point is so you have to use a c an app exchange partner product which can optimize the routes for travel professionals yes moving on which two features can be used to allow users to access visual workflows so a custom button i don't think you can give the custom button invoked by a process yes you can invoke the visual workflows by a process and the visual workflow from launcher yes of course and quick action i don't think you can call uh, visual workflow from the quick action so i would say the correct answer is um, b and c yes that's right a vp sales has requested that account site information should be visible on all opportunity record what is the recommended solution to meet this requirement so we need an account information on opportunity record i think it's pretty straightforward like we can the simple option here would be using the cross object formula process builder workflow rules and roll up summary field that are little you can achieve it but the straightforward answer for this would be cross object formula and yes that's the correct answer and universal container has a two type of customer support process platinum and the diamond the app builder created separate record type for each process <coughs> on the case object the customer support team should not be able to create new cases with the diamond record type so to uh, achieve this um, i think it has multiple answers update the profile to remove a diamond record type from the support team yes you can do that remove the ability for the support team to create new case i think this is meaningless we cannot do that they will be able to create a new you know a diamond uh, sorry platinum uh, cases so that's not the option so update the org by default to private yes possible and make the record type it into all the users and then use the sharing rule to share it yes 
so except b i think all these things are the correct answer a c d yes universal container once it can be used to meet these requirements um before deleting uh, if they want permission uh, i think you have to uh, two-step approval process i don't think there's an option to delete and approval process with trigger apex trigger yes if it's apex trigger you can do anything basically and the process builder with submit approval option now it's just all approval related and approval the time dependent workflow there also i don't think you can delete it so the correct answer would be approval process with apex trigger yes and that's the right answer when configuring a record type, an app builder can configure the available value of the pick list field for the page layout. Which two opportunity standard fields are available to be configured directly in the opportunity record? <clears throat> I think if you have worked extensively in the opportunity objects, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the correct answer would be A and D, the lead source and the type. I don't think forecast and the stage are available. Uh, no to be configured directly so yeah the correct answer is a and t lead source and type what permission is granted to customers when invited to chatter group universal container would like to collaborate with its customers within salesforce and has decided to enable allow customer invitations chatter settings okay so here the first option is ability to invite member to groups of which they are member yes i think possible and ability to mention at at mention account of which they are contact i don't think they can do that and ability to request access to public group i don't think they can request but they can be granted to any groups uh, they want to be part of by the admin and ability to interact with other members of the group yes that's the whole purpose of the chatter group and yes the correct answer would be a and d yes which two solution prevent a formula field being from being referenced by a roll-up summary field so a cross object workflow updating a field referenced by a formula field and a cross object field reference in the formula field and a c case function in the formula field and d no function in the formula field i think d no function but i think i'm confused by a and b let's see the correct answer it's a and d means a cross object workflow updating the reference field reference by formula field uh, which will which cannot be referenced by a roll of uh, summary field and same with no function in the formula field so a and d are the correct answer so that's all for now in this video thanks for watching till now and please do subscribe and bell icon for notification we will see you soon in the next video uh, I'll be making more uh, videos on other technical aspects like uh, you know, uh, not the not just the questions and answers but I want to make more on uh, the new concepts in the Salesforce so please do subscribe if you want such information videos so we'll see you there thank you bye bye